2018 Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo First Drive Review Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo, it might be the longest make-slash-model name in automotive history, but the marketing guys at Porsche want you to know exactly what you're getting when you shell out almost $190,000 for the company's fastest, most powerful, ultra-lux wagonoid thingy. Arno Bogle, director of powertrain for the Panamera lineup, describes it another way, however, the 918 Spider for the whole family. The Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo is. Hold up. Before we go any further, how about we adopt military practice and use an acronym instead? Our hard-working motor trend copy editors, Jesse and Mary, would appreciate wrangling fewer words. So how about P-Test? Yeah, there's an S missing, and pedants would probably want the H in there as well, but the folks in the Pentagon's acronym department don't let awkward letters get in the way of their mission. Let's go with P-Test. It's close enough for government work. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. The P-Test is Porsche's idea of a plug-in hybrid family hatchback combining the company's new 550 HP twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 with a 136 HP electric motor mounted between the engine and the 8-speed PDK transmission to create a driveline with a system output of 680 HP from 5,750 RPM to 6,000 RPM and 626 LBFT of torque from 1,400 RPM to 5,000 RPM. Although it has room for 5, and more load space than its sedan counterpart, Porsche's idea of a plug-in hybrid family hatchback is clearly a little different from Toyota's. Plug-in hybrids are supposed to be all about fuel efficiency, and although we don't yet have official EPA numbers, the P-Test is sorta, kinda fuel efficient in the sense that you can drive it up to 30 miles, at speeds of up to 86 miles per hour, without burning a drop of gas. But to Bogle, this is almost a fringe benefit. We regard the hybrid system as a performance system, he says, the performance system of the future. Philosophically, the Porsche P-Test's hybrid powertrain is similar to that of the 918 Spyder the 214 MPH, 887 HP hypercar that once held our production car lap record at Laguna Seca. Bogle says the P-Test will hit 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds and zoom to 192 miles per hour making it along with the standard wheelbase Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sedan the quickest and fastest of the 16-model Panamera lineup. In that sense, the P-Test is indeed a 918 Spider for the whole family. But that's about as far as the analogy goes for despite all the electrons whizzing around under the skin, helping deliver those the impressive acceleration and top speed numbers. Getting all Donner UND Blitzen on a tight and twisting canyon road is a strangely uninvolving experience. Although loaded with the latest in Porsche Dynamics technology all-wheel steering is about the only option this Turismo is simply too big, too heavy, to drive like a sports car. Switching to sport or sport and modes Porsche's sport chrono package is standard stiffens the P-Test's sinews, keeps the twin-turbo V8 fired up at all times, and switches the electric motor to Defcon 1 ready to instantly assist the internal combustion engine to deliver maximum thrust on demand. Thus configured, the big Porsche indeed makes rapid progress. But despite the test track data, from behind the wheel it doesn't feel as thunderously fast on the road as, say, a Mercedes AMG E63 wagon or even the bigger AMG S-Class sedan. That's the downside of having to haul around a 14.1 kWh lithium-ion battery pack. Tipping the scales at a hefty 5,125 pounds, the P-Test weighs 456 pounds more than an E63 wagon and 319 pounds more than an S63 sedan. Although the Porsche still has a marginally better power-to-weight ratio than either AMG car, the hybrid powertrain's delivery is much less melodramatic, and the big V8 seems oddly reluctant to be taken to its 6,800 RPM redline. And despite all-wheel drive and a torque vectoring e-diff at the rear, plus massive tires, 275-35ZR21 up front, and 325-30ZR21 at the rear, there's no disguising the effect of that extra mass in the twisty bits, 
even in cars fitted with the optional rear-wheel steering.